everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be in Create a Sim, my favorite place to be. I'm going to be making some Animal Crossing NPCs as Sims. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I've just gone on another custom content shopping haul so I think now is as good a time as any. We're going to start with Isabel. You know her, you love her. Personally, I only played Wild World before playing New Horizons and Isabel wasn't in Wild World and if we're being honest, she doesn't really do much in New Horizons reasons either. So I'm not 100% sure what her job is, but she is very cute and I do like playing her in Smash. So she is first up on the list for the create a sim makeover. I'm not 100% sure how I want to go about this because Isabel is yellow. <laughs> this is not a normal skin tone for human beings as far as I know. I guess I'll just try and like give her a face shape that I feel like seems appropriate and then I guess we'll go from there. <laughs> I'm also not 100% sure what outfit I want to give her because she does have have a lot of really cute different types of outfits so we could really play around with which outfit we want to give her based on the custom content that I have available to me. I don't know if I want to give her this like bright yellow hair. I feel like that's the most appropriate hair color for the hair slash ears that she has, but uh, I'm not sure. So we'll hold off on that for now. Let me take off all her accessories so I can just look at her face. Okay, so I downloaded some new eye presets that I thought might work out well, potentially. These look a little bit strange, but I feel like eye presets are a little weird. You kind of have to work with them. I kind of feel like these make sense for her because they're like cute and round. She's got like a very round kind of upturned eye and her eyebrows also kind of look like this. They don't rotate any more than that. Like I want them to be more like turned like this instead of like that, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I feel like Sim eyebrows don't quite want to do that. I feel like that's kind of the best that we can do on the eyebrows. Let's give her some eyes. She's got black eyes, so we'll give her like a really dark eye. Maybe like that, honestly. Okay, now she's got a cute little nose. That's adorable. <laughs> her face is very round, so I feel like this kind of works. And she's got kind of a big mouth and like big cheek area. I don't know how I feel about this nose. Can I bring her forehead out a little bit more? Maybe like that. See, it's tricky because I'm trying to put like cartoon animal proportions onto a human face. So it just looks a little bit odd. <laughs> what kind of lips does she have? I don't know how to translate cartoon dog lips onto a human being. <laughs> I honestly kind of feel like this one makes sense because it's like sharp. You know, like she's kind of got like an angular mouth, but it's very smiley. So I want to make her like smiling. She looks a bit odd. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but I feel like once we put skin details on her, she's going to look normal. So just hold, hold your horses for a little bit there. Maybe her nose is too big. Yeah, her nose is a lot bigger than her mouth on this sim. And that's not really what we're going for. That's kind of cute. I feel like that's cute. Stay with me. <laughs> Stay with me. She's got little like cheek shine things here, which is cute. I feel like I need to give her some kind of an eyelid thing. Maybe? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me just take everything off. I'm getting confused. Okay, we'll put the eyelid back on. It was that one. And then I will just try out some overlays and see which one I like. <laughs> this one's kind of nice. Makes her look very cute and very soft, which is kind of what I'm going for. I think this one's my favorite. Let's, let's stick with this one. <laughs> Let's give her some eyelashes. Not those, because those conflict with her skin overlay. We'll do some little ones. Just some little baby lashes and we'll do a little blush and then let's take a look at her actual skin tone. I'm not 100% sure what to do with the skin tone because she's yellow. <laughs> Maybe something like that actually. That has kind of a golden-y color to it. I feel like that works. Let's go with that. All right, let's find some hair. <laughs> she's got a very specific hairstyle. It's kind of got like the bun up on the top and then this 
down by the sides. So let's see if I've got something like that. I'm pretty sure there is one like that came with the base game that actually looks similar. I mean, there's this, but that's not really what we're going for, is it? You know what? I might do this color just because it matches her skin tone better instead of like the bright yellow. Cause I think that that doesn't really, that doesn't give me Isabel vibes <laughs> more than this. This I feel like makes a lot more sense. This was the one that I was thinking of cause it's got kind of like the top knot and then like this stuff down by the sides. So that I think could work. What else we got? That kind of works, but the bun is not as high. I kind of liked the higher bun a little bit better. This would be good if the bun was like on the top of her head. Like the bun is like really far back, like kind of how like I have it right now. I want the bun to be like right here. <laughs> yeah, see all of these buns are like too far back. This one does have bangs though. Oh, there's a bug in here. Get out. This is cute. Wait, what about this? I feel like it doesn't fit her face shape that well. This could work. It doesn't have bangs though. What about this? It's kind of like a long ponytail instead of a bun. Don't know if that's exactly what I'm going for or that. That could be cute. Okay, so we've got some options. Which one was my favorite? Is the base game hair really the best option? I kind of feel like it is. I also feel like she needs a little bit of something on her lips just to make her lips not look the same color as her skin. <laughs> oh, that's very orange. Maybe that's better. That looks nice. Okay, let's give her an outfit. <laughs> I'm gonna see what kind of outfits that I have that match like the outfits that she has. Cause she's got her little like Hawaiian New Horizons shirt, but then she also has her like more classic like sweater vest looking things. So let's take a look, see what we got. Here's a little polo shirt, but it's not the right color at all. Does this kind of look like her like yellow sweater? Oh, I was hoping it would have yellow on the sides, but then like black in the middle, like the white one does, but it doesn't. This kind of looks like, mm, no, it really doesn't. <laughs> what about this in green? It's not exactly bright. <laughs> if this was like a full shirt, that'd be perfect. Okay, what about something like this? Cause she has like the green sweater with the white sleeves. And then it looks like she's got like a little red bow. I could give her a little red bow if we go for this outfit. I think we're getting closer. Does this come in green? No. Ugh. I think this is maybe the best option that I've seen so far. Let me have a little look through the dresses though. See if there's anything different over here. <laughs> How cute is this dress? It doesn't like match her at all for Isabel, but it's very cute. Oh my gosh, these overalls would have been perfect for Maru when I was doing the Stardew <laughs> Create a Sim Challenge. What the heck? I honestly think this shirt is our best bet. I'm gonna give her a little red necklace. I'm pretty sure I have a bow necklace like that. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Oh wait, how about that? Is that cute? Kind of cute, kind of cute. We've also got this little one. I feel like this is the winner. What outfit did that bow come with? I wanna see if I can find it. I kind of like this on her. Like this kind of matches the color scheme that she's got. It's like the green checkered thoughts. <laughs> Anyone? There's also this. Okay, I can't find the dress that belongs to this bow. So I think I'm either gonna go for, where is it? This, because it's got that green checker. Plaid, I think is what it's called, not checkered. I wonder if I could get it like this and then put a short sleeve accessory t-shirt under it because she's wearing short sleeves. Let's see, where are all of my accessory tops? Is this what I'm thinking of? They don't have just like a plain white. I guess that's like white. This kind of works to be honest. Okay, let's do this, but I'm going to change the bow because it is not attached to anything. It's just kind of hanging there. So we'll go instead for something like either that or this. I don't like that as much. <laughs> Wait, what about this one? That's cute. I think that that's cute. All right, let's give her some little shoesies. Even though Animal Crossing characters can't wear shoes, I feel like she'd wear like some sensible nude heels or something like that. Like that, or maybe like this. Does that make sense? Or is that like, 
like too much. This is a very casual Isabel. This is like Isabel on her day off. How about these? Or maybe in green? I might do like the nude skin tone color because she's not wearing shoes in the real game. So I feel like this makes sense. All right, and here is Sim Isabel. Let me know what you think of her in the comments. So next up, I would like to do Celeste. Celeste is one of my favorite characters in Animal Crossing. I think she is beyond adorable. So she's up next. Let's make a new Sim. That's not quite right. Okay. <laughs> wow, the random townies that they generate really do have um, some fashion choices. All right, I think we can work with this. Now, Celeste is quite a round little baby, so we're gonna make her nice and cute and round. Hold still, my goodness. Okay, hold on. <laughs> if you ever want your Sims to stop moving, you can type cast clock speed space zero into the cheats and then they stay still. And to put it back, you just do cast clock speed space one. So there you go. I'm gonna put her in like a swimsuit real quick just so I can look at her body. Let's make her nice and thick. And I like that the Sim is already a redhead because I'm definitely gonna make Celeste a redhead. I hate that her arm is like clipping inside of her body. I think that's just because of the swimsuit. Like if I did like this or something. Yeah, there you go. All right, Celeste, let's work on your face. Celeste also has these really big eyes. I don't wanna use the exact same eye preset on her though. <laughs> Oh, that is frightening. Now she's got like this kind of a thing going on because she's an owl, which makes me like feel like I should give her eyebrows like this, but I don't really read them as eyebrows. So I'm not 100% sure what to do do with her eyebrows. Cause I kind of feel like she should have like soft, pretty eyebrows or just at least like not super angled like that. I'll give her, do I have like the starry eyes? Where are my starry eyes? These, they kind of look like they have stars in them. <laughs> For her nose, she's got a beak. So I guess that translates into kind of a big nose, but also I feel like she'd have kind of a cute nose cause she's kind of cute. So like maybe just like a point kind of a nose. I don't know. I definitely feel like she should have a pointy nose. And I definitely get this kind of a lip vibe from her. Hold on, let me fix it. <laughs> so it doesn't look like this. How do you get this to like look normal? Oh my word. I also feel like her face needs to be rounder and like her eyes a little bit further apart. The mouth is really tripping me out. Okay, let's fix this. Why does she look like that? Oh my gosh. Sims really do look crazy before you put skin details on them, huh? Okay, I don't like this mouth anymore. How do I get a mouth shape that I like? Someone please explain. I feel like the eyes are weird still. Are they? Or is it the nose? Should we see if we could do skin details on her now? I feel like the cheeks should be like, kind of like higher and rounder like that. God, no, the mouth is still weird. Oh, that's frightening. <laughs> is that better? I don't know what I'm doing. Whoa, that's freaky. This is cute on her. I'm realizing that she has a completely white face, so she's very pale. <laughs> okay, the skin details are definitely helping us out a lot. This one's nice. I wanna do something else to her nose. Just wanna make it like a little bit more pronounced since she's supposed to have like a beak. <laughs> Maybe like that, does that kind of work? Maybe, let's make her a little bit paler. <laughs> oh, not. Why does the Sims think that somebody's skin tone is this color? I don't understand. I didn't ever download like new skin tone custom content after they broke because I was like, oh, the Sims like fixed skin tones, but they still look kind of wild, don't they? Why does it look like there's like a smudge right there. Do you see that? That's not on my screen. That's on her face. I can't see it really from this angle. It's on that side too. Just like right by this area, it looks like it's smudged. What is that? <laughs> this one makes her look really like cute and soft, which I kind of like. Maybe this one. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll go with this one for now. <laughs> Let's put some lashes on her. I feel like I want to give her like big lashes like this and we'll do some blush because she's got blushy cheeks. And now should we do put something on her lips? Nothing crazy because like her beak is yellow, but I don't want to give her yellow lipstick because that's crazy. I could give her the MAC makeup. She kind of like looks good with it. This one is like the only thing from MAC makeup that doesn't look tragic. What the f is that? Just saying. 
Oh wait, these look like natural lips. Wait, I like these. That's pretty. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Okay, hair. I want to give her something that I can have a bow in, right? So maybe I'll go to bows first. Oh, you can see the, the line of where her skin detail ends. I'll go to accessories first and find a bow that I like and then try and match the hairstyle around it. Oh, should I give her big glasses? Cause she's an owl? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> she looks cute with glasses though. Okay, I'll keep them on for now, but if I change my mind, I'll take them off. <laughs> Here's something. I downloaded like a Powerpuff Girls collection. This looks like it's from the, kind of works. Or we could use that. Okay, I think we're gonna go for now with this one. And I'm gonna see if I can find hair that goes with it. I kind of feel like a lot of hair would go with it. Even that, honestly. And like, since she doesn't really have like any kind of hairstyle, not really sure <laughs> what direction to go in. Like I kind of could go any which way I wanted. I guess I'll just try and find something that I think suits her. How cute is that? This one kind of looks nice on her. This was the first one I tried on, but it kind of works. Or maybe that. I wonder if I could change the color of that bow. Okay, I don't think I can change the color of this, <laughs> which is big sad. I feel like this creator is usually good about making recolors. So I probably, I probably could change the color of that, but I just don't have the recolor downloaded. <laughs> so that's on me. Ooh, I kind of like her with the middle part actually. She looks so professional. All right, I've just gone through about a million hairs. I think the one that I like best is not that. <laughs> no, I can't find it. Hello, was it you? Yeah, this one. Okay, let's see if this one looks good with that bow. Yeah, I think that's cute. Her bow is more like that color, I think. Maybe that, it's like that. Okay, so I have a dress that I feel like would work well for Celeste. In my head, it works really well. So let's see if it works well in reality, <laughs> if I can find it. It's this. Okay, let me see if I can get like the right color. I mean, I think that that works. Hmm. See what I mean like the, about the diagonal though? Like I feel like that's like the exact right color that we need. I could just do the red because like her body is red. I wish there was one that was like this color pink shirt, but the skirt and the like turtleneck is red. So kind of like this. So instead of this being orange, it would be red. But I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Unless I have an accessory top that just like happens to work right, but I don't think I do. I kind of feel like I might just go with this one because it matches her hair. And you definitely like get the idea. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's go with this. I think that this is cute and I think it goes with the vibes and that's what I'm gonna do. Since her feet are yellow, I kind of want to give her some yellow shoes, but I don't want them to look like ridiculous, <laughs> like something simple like that. I don't know what kind of shoes she would wear, to be honest, because <laughs> none of these people wear shoes. Maybe just like some slides like that. I don't know. <laughs> that seems like she wouldn't wear those. <laughs> Maybe like these little bad boys. Wait, these are actually cute. Okay, yes, these are the vibes. That's very cute. And I just have kind of kept the glasses on, but I kind of like them. Or should I, should I take them off? I don't know. I can't decide. Maybe I'll give her some earrings though. Like some little like star earrings. If you can even see them because her ears are kind of covered. Maybe I'll bring her ears out a little bit. Like so like that. Cute, 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 cute. And earrings. Oh, these are stars. That's cute. I'll give them gold. Is it on both sides or just the one? Um, I kind of like it on just the one. Is that too much? That seems a little bit much. Okay, let's tone it back. <laughs> tone it back, tone it back. These you can't even barely see because her like hair is covering it. The moon and star. I mean, that would be really cute, but you can't see it at all. I want like a little bit longer of something like this, but like if it had stars instead. Although the hearts are very cute, not gonna lie. All right, let's just keep her with the hearts because I think that she is adorable. I can't decide about the glasses or not. I feel like no glasses. The glasses don't really make sense because she's not wearing them in real life. In the real life. In the game. All right, here is final Sim Celeste. Let me know how you like her. Okay, now we're moving on to a character that's not actually in New Horizons, but who is very dear to my heart, Harriet from the Shampoodle. If you're not familiar with the older Animal Crossing games, you're probably not familiar with the fact that we didn't get to just pick our hair or our appearance or anything like that. We had to take quizzes <laughs> and then Harriet would get to decide based on the quiz 
what we get to look like. It was all good fun. And that's how I ended up with orange hair for a lot of my childhood wild world adventures. And I still like giving my characters orange hair in games that I play even now. So this is where it all started for me. I don't know if Harriet's ever gonna make a comeback into New Horizons because of the way character customization works in this game, but I'm personally a big fan of her and I would like to make her in The Sims. So let's begin. She's got a very pointy nose. She's also very pale. All of these characters are like, Real pale. Let's pull the hair away from the face. I might have to download a recolor of the hair I want to give her so I can get that like bubblegum pink hair that she has. <laughs> because this is the pink hair that's in the game and it's like not, it's not quite the same. Anyway, let's make her a little bit paler, but she's still got kind of like a pinky undertone to her skin. I would go for like a cool toned one, like in this cool toned range, but I don't know how to make them like look normal. None of these colors look like real human colors to me. So we're just gonna stick with warm and try and find like the pinkiest warm one. I don't understand why they had to do this. Like why couldn't they just give us a color wheel? I will never stop complaining about this game. <laughs> Maybe something like that kind of works. Let's get her normal colored eyebrows. Um, her eyebrows are very thin and very arched. So we could do something like this. They're like very round, which like sim eyebrows don't really do. So I might have to, oh God, that looks so wild. <sighs> I mean like that, it kind of looks like what her eyebrows look like, but it just makes her eyes look crazy. Like I feel like the socket of the eye gets all like warped out of shape when you start like messing with the, um, the eyebrows. <laughs> so I kind of want an eye shape that doesn't have the eyelid. So like maybe I could go for kind of a monolid thing. The problem is her eyes are very tall <laughs> and like eyes like that don't really exist in The Sims. Oh, <laughs> what did I just do? Put it back. Oh, I kind of feel like her eyebrows should be darker than that, but like this is like the exact shape that I want. So I'm not hundred percent sure what to do. Like maybe that, but it like looks crazy, you know? Huh. Damn, she looked like the Mona Lisa. I look like her. Huh? I mean, like maybe this works. I hope this doesn't offend somebody. I feel like it might, but I just hope it doesn't. <laughs> like that's what her eyebrows look like. Fuck. I can't do that to her. Maybe I'll just do it like this. I kind of feel like we're getting somewhere. I've committed to the monolid eye. That's, that's what we're doing now. And uh, she's got a pointy nose. Perfect. I'm really struggling here. <laughs> Somebody help me. And she's got a big mouth, like a really wide mouth. What did that just do? I feel like that did something to her face that I didn't like. Her face feels so much wider now. What did I do? Did I do something? For fuck's sake, her nose should be bigger. I feel like every time I try and make a Sim nose, I forget what noses look like in real life. Like I've never seen a nose before, ever, not once. <laughs> She needs a nose mask of some kind. Her face looks interesting. <laughs> okay, skin details, please and thank you. Like skin details literally do all the heavy lifting. They really just come in and save the game. It kind of looks like her. Am I lying to myself? Maybe. I kind of like it. Let's um, let's go back to the nose overlays again. I'll give her some big eyelashes cause she's got big eyelashes and the, um, her character has got like a little, oop, you know, there we go. Cute. Where is the the nose overlay. <laughs> Is it this? Nope, that's clearly eyelids. Here we go. Maybe that like adds a little bit of definition around this area. I never like make girl sims with like prominent noses like this. So I feel like it looks strange to me, but it like, it definitely doesn't, right? Like people look like this. What I'm learning is that I need to branch out on the type of Sims that I make because all my Sims look the same. <laughs> she's cute though. Okay, should we move on to hair? So she's got, I, I'm gonna struggle to find hair that looks like this in the Sims, but we're gonna go for it. I might just give her like big curly hair and like call it a day, but not this bubblegum hair, something lighter. Hmm, what if I just did this? This kind of works. I wish it was a lighter color though. That looks cute on her too. Wait, maybe this is the vibe. That, I feel like that's kind of the vibe. Let me see if I can find a recolor of this hair that's not so vivid pink. Not me downloading custom content in the middle of a video. I did it. I like this color a lot better. <laughs> Definitely matches more with the hair color she's supposed to have. These are getting a little bit more purple. So I think this is probably the best one. Yeah, very cute. 
Now I think I can change this scrunchy color also. Is that under hats? Let's see. Here we go. So let's do a pink. We could do like a slightly darker pink. Yeah, that's cute. All right, for the clothes, she's wearing a purple dress with a blue, white, and red apron. So I don't know how close to that I'm gonna get because I don't even know if I have any aprons. So let's just look for a purple dress. Here we go. I mean, I could do something like this since it's got like purple and white. Hmm, should I give her the BB Rexa outfit? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's fun. I'm into that. I feel like her outfit is like, it's just a sleeveless purple dress. I don't know if I've got anything like that. I could give her this. <gasps> hmm, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if I have like a skirt that comes with an apron and then I could just do like a purple shirt. Genuinely don't know if I do. <laughs> yeah, I genuinely don't think I have anything that's like even close to what she's wearing. I feel like the closest thing to it would be like overalls. Maybe I'll just give her overalls and a purple shirt. Those colors match. Or that. That kind of works. I know she's not wearing a sweater, but that looks really cute on her. How about that? It's kind of a brighter purple. <sighs> None of these are exactly right. That's kind of cute. Or this. I don't know. I feel like any of these could be fine because there's nothing that's like exactly right, you know? Oh, uh, with the little like ruffly sleeves. Why do I feel like that fits her vibe? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> are there any different overalls that might work better? Going once, going twice. I wish they had like different color, like pant legs or something. Or maybe I could do like, I definitely have some pants that have like different color on one side than the other. If I had like blue, red, and white, I don't know. I'm trying to incorporate all the colors on her apron, but it's not working. I kind of like these jeans. I don't know why, but like, I feel like they kind of work. I'm genuinely just phoning it in at this point because I don't have an apron. So I'm like, well, wait, these have like different colors. Wait a minute. Is that like close? Can we call that close? <laughs> Cause I'm not sure what else to do. Maybe that. <sighs> y'all. I think I'm gonna go with these pants, honestly. <laughs> They're kind of fun. She feels like she's kind of fun. I think they fit her. Maybe I'll do this one instead. Just like go completely off the rails. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let me give her some kind of a necklace. Maybe I'll give her a white necklace to tie in like the white. She's got a bow on her apron, so maybe I'll give her like a white bow. Like that? I don't like this shirt anymore. I wanna change the shirt. I'll do that for her. Let's change the shirt one last time and then I have to be done. <laughs> because I could be here forever. It's already been two hours. That's too much. That's too many hours. Ah, that clips with the thingy. Dang it. Okay, this is still my favorite shirt on her. So I'm gonna go back here and change this necklace. Hello, we're gonna give her this one. Does it not come in white? Of course it doesn't. Of course, why would it come in white? <gasps> Oh boy, this is a mess. Oh wait, that doesn't clip, does it? No, I don't think it does. Okay, sweet. We're gonna go with that. That's my final answer. And for shoes, I'm just gonna give her some black shoes. I'm gonna give her the first ones I see. Would she wear sandals like this? That kind of makes sense for her. All right. <laughs> So here at last is Harriet. Let me know what you think of her in the comments. I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I've done a couple of videos like this. I made Freckles in Create a Sim. I made some Stardew Valley characters in Create a Sim. It's kind of a fun challenge for me. So let me know if you'd like to see more. Once again, this is Harriet and we also have Celeste and we also have Isabel who I did first so let me know which one was your favorite. I think Celeste is my favorite to be honest. I think that she turned out like the most true to her character. Harriet was definitely a bit of a struggle especially because I didn't have like an apron so it was hard for me to like get her exact outfit but i tried to replicate like the essence of her character if that makes sense anyway let me know if you liked the video in the comments please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you liked it and i will see you all in the next one bye